<laughs> hey everybody, yeah, the shirt is back. Uh, and that is because today I'm doing Total Wine's number one best-selling Bordeaux. Or at least, is it best-selling Bordeaux or is it the best per dollar? Ah, I don't know, I'll double check it after the buffer. All right, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing the 2018 Chateau Bois Red Dawn. It is 13.5% alcohol by volume. I can't talk today. Uh, it is a Bordeaux Superior, so uh, that says something, and I'll tell you what that means in a second here. Uh, and I paid $11 for it at Total Wines, and I double-checked, it is their number one Bordeaux, and they say it's the best value Bordeaux. So we're gonna put that to the test here. Um, no screw top traditional fork. Okay, so Bordeaux has a lot of different classifications. So you can kind of have your Bordeaux, Bordeaux Superior, uh, Premier Cru, uh, Grand Cru. There's there's a lot of different things that you can be classified under in Bordeaux. Uh, Superior means it falls under the basic legal requirements for a Bordeaux, but it also means that it has a little bit more alcohol. Normally it means by 1%, but here's the thing, is in Bordeaux, they're shooting for 13%. You can be half a percent above below and half a percent above. That's by saying that it's 13.5%. Technically it could fall into the superior, but it could also probably just fall under the standard Bordeaux classification for alcohol. Anyway, yeah, that, that gets too nitpicky. Uh, I'm just here to taste the wine and let you know if it's good. All right, so let's take a look at the color of this wine. So from a color standpoint, you are medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, in terms of the nose, medium plus intensity, getting a good amount of, it's a, it's a fair mix of red fruit and black fruit. Getting a little bit of a blackberry, black cherry, I'm getting a little bit of raspberry, strawberry, maybe a touch of cranberry. It's like a slightly dried cranberry. It's not what I would, actually expect to get, uh, definitely use the French oak in here. There's there's <laughs> a good amount of baking spices. You got a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of clove, a little bit of thyme. But I mean, it takes time to make good wine. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's a little bit there in terms of there. I'm not really getting any aging notes on this at all. It's all barrel, it's all primary fruit. Uh, so let's get to the taste. Medium body, medium alcohol, medium plus intensity, medium plus acid. It's nice. Tannins, medium tannins, a little bit scratchy, kind of like as you swallow, it's kind of like, have you ever seen a cat like hang on shears? It's like that, but without like the blood and like the sound effects, just kind of like it's just hanging on for dear life as you swallow it. That's kind of where it's at here. It has a violet. Yeah, it's opening up a little, it, it has, a florality to it. It's got this like, it's very perfuming. Yeah, it has like a purple, like a, a violet blossom. I didn't get any of that before on the nose. And then I guess Rich and Easel opened it up. Yeah, it's got, it's got this nice floral note that came out of it out of nowhere. Huh. That, that's very interesting. But yeah, but I'm getting all those like kind of Spicy and herbal notes as well. And maybe a touch of cedar, just a little touch of cedar. Maybe there's also just a little bit of a cheesy note. Like the mallow's really coming out on this. A little bit more than most 2018s that you typically have. Anyway, okay, so with all that being said, let's, oh, I never said finish. Finish, I ah, got a medium finish. So now let's get to the blit, because I'm already kind of getting to all of that. All right, so from a balance standpoint, you're in balance. Full point, have nothing to complain about there. Uh, length, medium finish, half a point. Intensity, medium plus on the nose, medium on the palate, half a point. Uh, complexity, I'm gonna give you half a point here. I, I, I like the fact you have multiple fruit clusters. I'm getting good amount of barrel notes. There's a little bit of that mallow. Uh, I'm getting some florality coming out of this. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> it's, it's kind of nice. And also, as it opens up a little bit more, it also kind of has this, uh, this is gonna sound weird. And, and, and this is probably just because I had to clean the bathroom all the time when I was growing up. It, it smells it smells a little bit like cleaner as well. Like uh, like a really weak, 
Comet cleaner. Not that it makes it offensive, it's just a different thing. As, as this thing sits for a while, it really, it really starts to kind of develop a little bit more character. But I'm not getting any tertiary, so I'm not gonna give you any full point there. So ultimately, that's two and a half points. I'm gonna give you good. I mean, it's not knocking my socks off, but I mean, it, it, it is a pretty good Bordeaux. I mean, it, it, especially if you're getting it for $8. There are far worse Bordeaux. Now, do I think this thing has an aging potential of some of the other kind of major producers in Bordeaux? No. I'd give this no more than five years before you should be opening it and starting to drink it. it that's what it smells like. Have you ever smelled the per, like the men's cologne Aramis? That's what this, it kind of has, whenever that, that cleaner and the, and the fruit and the violet all work together, this smells like Aramis cologne. That's what it is. God, that's what it is. That was killing me this entire review and I just figured it out. On that note, anyway, this has been Super with Wine All The Time. If you like today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the 2018 Chateau Bois Redon? I, that's as close as I'm gonna get uh, in terms of pronouncing it because I can never speak English properly to begin with. Uh, if you have, leave a comment below and let me know. Uh, or if you think there's a better Bordeaux that should be showcased as their number one Bordeaux at Total Wines, let me know as well. And if you're working for Total Wines and you see this and you want to start sponsoring me, then shoot me a note. Stuart at wineonthedime.com. Just saying. Anyway, shameless plug aside, I'll see y'all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go downstairs and we're going to... Oh, oh. We finished all the shows on Netflix practically because of all this lockdown. We'll probably restart Doctor Who again and have some Bordeaux to celebrate. I'll see you later.